In this video, we will see generation of alternating voltage. So, as we can see here, these are the two permanent magnet, and here this is a coil. So, this is a single turn coil or single loop coil. So, that is why it is called as single turn alternator or single loop alternator. Here, these two are the slip rings and these two are the brushes. One magnet is on north pole side and second magnet is on south pole side. Now this conductor is made from aluminium or copper. These are the magnetic flux. Now according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, due to the rotation of this coil it is cutting the this magnetic flux and due to that the emf is induced in this coil now since it is rotating so the alternating voltage is generated or we can say a sine wave is producing now it is rotating on its own axis so here we can see the flow of current in alternating direction, this current is due to the induced EMF or we can say the alternating voltage. Due to the alternating voltage, the alternating current is produced. Here we can see in the oscilloscope, this is the sine wave or also we can see in galvanometer. So, this is called as the generation of alternating voltage. Graphical and mathematical representation of sinusoidal AC quantities. So, here we can see this is a instantaneous voltage waveform. Now, here this is called as waveform. It may be of sine wave or it may be of cosine wave. So, it is called as sinusoidal. Now, here it is starting from 0. So, that is why it is a sine wave. Now, what is instantaneous value? So, these are all the instantaneous values. That means, at that particular instant value, it is called as instantaneous value. Then next is cycle. So, here from this 0, to this this point that is one positive part and one negative part so this complete is called as one cycle now time period how much time it takes to complete one cycle is called as time period then next is frequency the number of cycles completed in one second is called as frequency Next is amplitude. So, the maximum value is called as amplitude. Now, here we can see on this x axis we have taken time and on y axis we have taken voltage. This is this is the maximum voltage it is represented by Vm. Now, instantaneous voltage is represented by V of t where T is the variable. It is equal to Vm sin theta. Now, this sin theta represents the shape of the wave. Sin theta represents the shape of the waveform. Now, it is equal to Vm sin omega t. Theta is equal to omega t, where omega is the angular frequency in radian per second. Here we can write in radian per second. It is also equal to Vm sin 2 pi f t, where f is the frequency in hertz and t is the time in second. So, currently we have taken time on x axis. So, this will be the equation for this waveform Vm sin 2 pi f 
T. So this is about the instantaneous voltage waveform. Then next is instantaneous current waveform. Now similarly like instantaneous voltage waveform on x axis we have taken time and on y axis we have taken current. Again this value represents the maximum current I m and instantaneous current is given by I of t is equal to I m sin theta where t is the variable and this I represents instantaneous current. Now this sign again this sign omega t represent the shape of the waveform. When the waveform starts from zero that time it is a we take sign and when it starts from here then we take cos. Now I am sin 2 pi f t where f is the frequency in hertz and t is the time in second. We have currently taken x on we have taken t on x axis. So here this will be the correct expression for this instantaneous current that is i of t is equal to i m sin 2 pi f t. So this is about the instantaneous current and instantaneous voltage.